Hey, what's up, guys? I'm back with some more BMG Drive, and today we are playing the most recent update with the new map and the new vehicles. I'm starting off at the default spawn location. It's the gas station, and I started with this new off-road van type thing that they added. There's a bunch of different sub uh, sub vehicles to this vehicle that I have right now. I'll try and get through as many as I can. But there's other vehicles as well that I want to get to. So let's just start off real quick with this one. We're going to explore the map while I'm just driving around. And then once we get to a spot that I feel like is good for testing all of them, then we'll just hang out there for a little bit. But I'm pretty sure this spot is just like a straightaway. You got a little bit of off-roading too. Kind of like dunes. A duny area. But... All right, so this is a pretty long road. I've been driving on it for a while. It looks like we're coming up to this little RV spot over here. So we'll check that out. Not sure what this is all about. Let's see how it does off road and that seems like it's doing all right. All right, so yeah, I don't really know what this is. Just looks like a campground. Campground for a race maybe. That'd be interesting if you could do like um, a long drag race in the desert. That'd be pretty cool. There might be a lot of like um, off-road races around here, I would imagine. All right, I drove around all in there for a little bit. Didn't really find anything. Just led me out to these paths, which do look like they might be for rallying. I could be wrong. But I am going to switch the vehicle real quick. So as you can see with the current truck or van that I am using, there are a lot of different versions of it. So we got the base model that I'm using currently, and then we got this one, which is pretty similar. It just looks like it has an indoor cage, maybe like military style, police style. And we got this one, pretty similar. We got this one that has an exoskeleton on it. We got like a pickup truck version. Uh, we got a pickup truck with a snorkel, got another one with an uh, exoskeleton. But I'm going to hop all the way down to this one, which has um, the dual axles on the rear and see how that performs. And then we might jump down to something like this. All right, so I'm just going to use this course that is set up already, see how that does. So far, so good. Oh. Got a little bit of a whoop there. It seems like it has a little bit less torque than the previous one, which is surprising. Takes a little bit to get up to speed, I should say. But I'm sure this truck is not really meant for going off-roading to this extreme. At least not at these speeds. Will I make it up this hill? I'm not sure. Oh man, it is really struggling. Got it down the first gear though and it, it managed. Alright, so it looks like this this course goes for a while, which would definitely be fun for off-roading for sure. But I think I'm going to switch to another vehicle already. That way we could just test them all out. Okay, so I went and I jumped straight to the rally version of this one. to see what the difference is. See if it has more get up and go. Oh yeah, it definitely seems like it does. But can it make it up this hill? Oh man, is it really struggling to get up this little hill? Alright. That's ridiculous. Alright, come on. We, we can make it up. Let's see if we get a run and start. Sounds like it has a supercharger or turbo. Alright, attempt number two. Let's see if we can make it. Oh my god, this thing is really struggling. Alright, what if I try the side instead of going up the path, I go up the side. No, that, <laughs> it just doesn't have the grip. I think because it's like a um, all rear wheel and it doesn't have any drivetrain for the front. At least I don't think. Oh, maybe it does. Yeah, it looks like it does. 
I, know I, I don't know what the problem is. I'm just going to switch to a different one. All right, so I switched over to this. This is a completely different vehicle. I don't know what these things are called in real life. But I do know that they could drive on land and they can float in water. So I'm going to have to find some water to see if this does float. Because if this does float, then this is one of the first floatable things that Beam and G has gave us. So let's see if we can get up to the top. Oh yeah, this is going no problem. I made it no problem. Doesn't have a lot of gears, that's for sure. It seems like it tops out of like maybe 25. I might end up looking for a different area. I might get off of this and go to one of the different areas of the map. Okay, I quick traveled to this area, which is called the pits. Just looks like um, some open desert area. I don't think it's going to do me much good with this thing. But we could give it a shot. Yeah, it tops out at 21 miles per hour. Well, that gives us a chance to try some of the other ones out. All right, so I was looking at the different models that you could get for this vehicle. And they're pretty much all the same for the most part. You got this one that's enclosed. And then the biggest difference are these ones down here. This one's not enclosed and then this one's enclosed which kind of reminds me of a sherpa so let's give this a go i'm gonna have to find a water source then to see if this does act like a sherpa then because it looks like a sherpa drives like a sherpa it's gonna be interesting if it floats like one too but i think we should Switch to a vehicle that is more designed for this type of road. Alright, so we got a stock trophy truck. And that is loud. Holy crap. Seems like this one's just rear wheel drive. Definitely just wants to slide all over the place. Jesus. Trying to keep it straight for the most part. Holy crap. All right, let's see if there's a four wheel drive version of this one. All right, so they're all rear wheel drive, but we'll give this one a shot just cause it looks cool. Definitely goes fast, faster than what we were going. This truck is definitely made for this type of stuff. Has that suspension and clearance. Definitely lands soft. Oh, all right, well. There goes our spare, one of our spares. Well, I think that, whoa, what the hell happened to our rear? Oh, that's just how the suspension reacts. That's interesting, I never noticed that. Let me just. And no, it could sway side to side. Huh. All right, well, let's switch to a different vehicle. All right, so this is probably my favorite one in the whole update. It's like another rock crawler type. So this one's called the Rock Racer. There's a Rock Bouncer, which I'll probably try that one out. Just see how that one is. But let's compare this one to the trophy truck. So this one is four wheel drive. Suspension handles all the bumps well. Definitely handles better because I'm not in rear wheel drive. Seems slower for sure. But I mean, that's a sacrifice I'll make for better, better handling. And it has that exoskeleton on it, it looks like. Well, let's try the bouncer version of this. All right, so this one's called the Bouncer. I would imagine it's supposed to have better suspension or softer suspension. Oh, yeah, you can definitely tell the difference. Oh, my God, the landing on that was intense. I think this one has NOS as well. Holy crap, I think I like this one more. It just lands so soft besides that one, but 
Comparing this one to the one that we were just using, the landing on it is phenomenal. All right, I want to find a water source either in this map or another map, and I want to test out the floating capabilities of the previous vehicle. All right, so I'm not sure if there's any water on this map. I wasn't able to really find any, but I just did a quick look around and free cam. But look at the size of this map. This map is huge. Like, you can't even really see the borders. Like, barely you could see them. So this is definitely going to be a good map for some dune racing, for sure. Alright, I got some water here. And I got the all-terrain vehicle. And it floats! Look at that! Alright, well, it doesn't really drive in the water, which kind of sucks. But it does float. Alright, we're gonna have to test out the... The Sherpa looking one now. Just gotta try and get to land. If I can ever make it. The Sherpa will probably do better since... It has a uh, bigger tire, so we should be able to catch on the ground better. Or is this one we're just floating, not going anywhere? Alright, I got the Sherpa looking one. We're gonna drive in. We're gonna see if it floats and if it's able to even drive in the water. So let's test this out. Oh, okay, it floats. But can it drive in the water? Oh, it seems like it's doing a better job than what the other one was. Oh, yeah, this one can do it. This one can do it. I don't know why the other one was having issues. But there you go, that one worked. All right, well, I think that wraps up this whole update. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one.